Hey everyone. So I've got in front of me here today is this like bark kind of like training collar. I guess kind of like a, um, for lack of a better term, kind of like a shock collar. Um, obviously it does a little bit more than just like obviously shock your dog because that does kind of have like a bit of like a harsh connotation to it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to like put it all together and stuff and like what I can do. And it's really, really simple actually. So it's going to start off by just looking like this little thingy. Actually, before I do that, before I get off into building everything, I want to show you what all it comes with. So these little studs right here, actually here's like the actual dog, I guess like, I guess the actual, um, I guess like device that's gonna be attached to the actual collar itself that's gonna make it like a shock collar. It's gonna look like that. There's a little bit of an up closer thing. That's what the back of it looks like. I'll get into like actually like what all the things do on it and probably here very shortly. But that's just to show you guys like that's there. It comes with two straps in case one of them either breaks or you accidentally like cut one too short or whatever happens to the other one. It comes with two right there. We've got one already unraveled and one raveled up. Um, this is a little key that you can use to actually test to make sure that it's like shocking out like an appropriate level, which is handy. These little caps are used to, whoops. These little caps are used as kind of like, um, almost kind of like displacers if you want to like make sure that if it were to like actually shock your dog, it won't. So you're going to put these on there or to like prevent yourself from getting shocked if you're like handle it and stuff. And then also comes with a pair of longer studs for like longer haired dogs and or like thicker dogs. These little buckles that we're, I'm going to actually show you how to like use and actually like put on the belt, uh, the actual strap itself, really, really simple. The little box it comes in, the little uh, box that the strap itself comes in. The charger for the actual collar, it's just like a simple USB port and then the, I believe, let's see there. That's what that kind of charger is. And then it's just gonna just plug in straight to like the bottom of the collar itself, as you can see there. Just a little flap that you're gonna wanna open up. And then a little, let's see here. Here's just like a quick like setup card. Kinda like uh, what recommends, uh, what it recommends like uh, what settings you use for like what weight of dog, other little like neat like tips and tricks that you can use. No, it's like tips and like things like, you know, oh, to check daily for like rashes and sores or like don't use it as just like a matching collar. Like don't put it on there just for, to be a like, cute sort of thing. And then like, oh yeah, and another thing is don't have this on your dog for 12 hours. I'm gonna get that out of the way so I don't forget. So that's really important. And then actually the actual manual itself, which will go over just about everything I talk about and more. So that's good to go. So yeah, we'll actually talk about how to put it all together. So if you got your strap right here, you wanna make sure that the, um, you put everything that makes sure it faces out to the outside. What I do is just make sure like the stitching on here is just facing like inside. So like imagine if you were like putting it around your dog, if that kind of makes sense. So just know that this is the inside and this is the outside. So what we're gonna do is actually take this part itself, the actual, so we're gonna make sure, so like for instance, we're gonna make sure that the actual stitching is facing or the actual studs are actually facing to the inside so they actually go into like the dog's like, there we go. Pull it in there. Doesn't really matter which way it faces, kind of like whatever you prefer, honestly. Bada boom, bada bing. Next, you're gonna wanna take this little clip here. I'm gonna push this a little bit further in, just for simplicity's sake. And then again, making sure that this faces the outside, put it through this first one here. I'll kind of show you guys like what I mean. Put it through this one like so. Boom, babushka, babushka. Put it through that one. Tighten that, we'll just kind of like leave that over there for now. And then, almost the last part. I'll move this down so you guys can get actually like a better angle of it, that'd probably help. So yeah, once again, imagining that this is like, can I go into like the actual like dog itself? Sorry, I have dog allergies, so this is not the best <laughs> video probably for me to be making. So we're actually gonna put it through the second hole right through here. I'll show you why in a second. So you can wrap it through here and then the extra slack can actually go on like the outside so it doesn't like kind of like disturb your dog. Can you kind of see you guys like what I mean there? I'll do it one more time. Give you guys kind of like a better angle. So if you stick the this part through there and then pull this through that second hole and pull it like that. And that way that this extra slack is like facing towards the outside so you can actually adjust the collar itself as well as it's not like in your dog and it's like uncomfy for it. Him or her. 
And then using this little clipper, you're gonna wanna push it through here, pull it through, and then pull it through this one again. Whoops, pull it through that one again. Make sure it's like all kind of straightened out and then boom, you're done. And then from here, you can adjust it to like whatever length that you need uh, for your actual dog. And then like, make sure like you like clip it around him and make sure it's like, a, you know, like either not choking him and or not too loose either. So yeah, that's basically the hardest part of all of this. The next part is super duper simple. So to turn it on, you just wanna hit this button that says M on there. It also has a little power button next to it. And from here, it'll turn on, you'll see this little number appear. And from this, what's gonna do at the very beginning is gonna have this kind of like sleep button. Say like, if you want like your dog, if you don't want anything, if you don't want it to do anything and or like your dog is like taking a nap or something, make sure it's like on this mode so it won't do anything. And then click it again. <clears throat> and from here, you can click this little button on the left. You're just gonna like wanna tap it. Tap it three times and you can actually adjust the other levels. So from here, oh wait, whoops, it turned off. Actually, while I'm here, if you leave it as it is and you just hit this mode button again, I'll actually go ahead and tell you what levels all the other buttons are. So it's gonna start out, it's gonna go sound and that one's at three, so it's gonna basically make like a noise. Oops, I keep letting it go like that sound. Vibration is at seven, and then the little lightning bolt is just gonna be like at one or whatever you set it to, and I'll show you guys how to change it right now. So you wanna hit the on button and then double tap, or not double tap, triple tap this button right here. One, two, three. Oh, whoops, looks like I already tapped it twice. So then, oh, whoops, I keep letting it die. There we go, and then from here, tap the mode button while like that's still like appearing. And then from here you can cycle through them and you know you did it right if it makes like a beep. And then say like you want the vibration to just be like at zero, or you can go from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way back to seven and then back to zero. And then go to from the shock button, do the exact same, it goes from zero to seven. Boom. And then lastly, the sound, which I believe only goes from one to seven. Yeah, as you can see here, it starts at one and then goes all the way up to seven. And then, like I said, you can just like either decide for yourself what best suits your dog and or it also comes with a cool nifty little guide that shows like how like much like your dog weighs. And then also another uh, fantastic like, addition, if it wasn't like enough, is that it's completely waterproof. So if your dog is at like running around like a mud puddle or like a thunderstorm where it's raining, whatever he's doing, swimming. It's gonna be totally fine. He can jump in the pool, it's gonna be A-OK. -okay. You won't have to worry about it at all. So yeah, that's literally all there is to it. Like I said, it comes with everything you see here. I think it's a fantastic, oh yeah, I'll show you guys how these little caps, what they look like on here. Bubble, boom Real short and simple. Boom. One last thing I wanna show you guys. But yeah, it's really short and simple. I like how simple this one is. I feel like a lot of collars, or like shock collars, have so many like buttons and modes and settings. And this one is very, very straight to the point and charges really quickly and it's comfortable around your dog. And it's real simple. It's just like a simple black and kind of like white design. Looks great on every dog it's, it's gonna be on. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for bearing with me. And this is kind of like a long and lengthy one. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. You guys have a good one. So I've actually got, given you guys a little demo here. I got on my dog Pumba. Stinky little boy. But yeah, as you can see, it fits real nice and comfortably around him. He's not barking like a good little boy, so I can't give you guys a demonstration in that aspect. But yeah, this is what it should look like on your dog. It looks really cute.